Can I ask why you decided to move to Africa? Because yeah. Sure. Uh, well, I came to Ghana for a year of return in 2019, like thousands of other people. Our only perspective of West Africa had been Sierra Leone. Like, we come to Sierra Leone, or West Africa, we go to Sierra Leone, that's where we're from. And we go and we hang out with family. But coming to West Africa, being on my own, getting around on my own, just observing the environment with the development here in Ghana, I was like, wait a minute. Like, mm. I was like, I'm too comfortable here. <laughs> like, I'm actually very, a little it's too very comfortable. comfortable. It wasn't just her. So, you know, the year of return, like, it was purposefully curated to make African, I mean, or Africans in the diaspora mm -hmm. come back home to yeah. actually return back home. Yeah, yeah. So if you go to like, you know, they have black Twitter. If you go to African Twitter, if you go to African Instagram, it's just threads of people checking on their relatives like, so you just not going to come back? <laughs> like, girl, 30 December been over. It's now like January the 23rd. You just not going to come back to work? <laughs> and the thing is, there are people who just did not come back. Not there are people that never went who back. Who just never went back. back. They yeah. put their stuff in shipping containers. We like had to load up people's, like people just didn't come back. And so she... Literally did not want to come back. It was. It took a couple to be like, so girl, um, I thought you were leaving on like January 4th. <laughs> like, <laughs> I was chilling. Like, 2023. Right. <laughs> so, like, 